Welcome back for the continuation of our LTI Spotlight conversation with Martin Leonard of Turnitin. I'm your host, Linda Fang, and I'm with Unicon, a technology consulting firm focused solely on the education ecosystem. In our previous episode, Martin added the LTI Advantage deep linking support to an LTI tool he was building in real time. In this episode, Martin will add grade passback. Let's see what Martin is doing now. Next on the agenda is the assignments and grades service. And this will allow us to return even more information back into the platform in the form of a grade or an outcome to what a student is working on. So let's go back to our code. And from this, we're going to go back to our game. And what we can see in here is that uh, we're going to need to tell our front end about the launch so that when uh, the score uh, kind of comes around, so when I've completed the game and I've got a score at the end of it, I need to say, hey, um, you know, this is what my score is. And then I need to call an endpoint and I need to tell it, send a score back to the platform. But for it to be able to do that, it needs to know a bit of information about where it's sending it. And that can all be done through the launch ID. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a line in here uh, into, into our game at the bottom. And we're just going to tell it what the launch ID is. So we're going to set the launch ID in here. And then inside our JavaScript, we're going to want to create a new function down at the bottom. And we're going to say um, that we want to submit a score. So let's create a new function down here. And this is going to submit a score. So we're going to say, when the game ends, we're going to call that submit score function. So let's add that into our game end. So if it's not a recording, then let's submit the score that they get. So submitted score here, and it's going to call this API score endpoint. And it's going to send some parameters to it. It's going to send the launch ID, the score, the time, comments, and everything else. OK, so now that we're sending that data over to our API, we need to actually create it. So in here, we have an API folder. Um, and we're just going to create a new file. And we're going to call it score.php. And inside this score file, we're going to do what we've been doing before, which is just importing our library. And again, because we've got the launch ID, we're going to pull in the launch data from the cache. So here, launch ID. And we've now got a launch. So there's lots of things that we can do with this launch before we saw that we validated whether it was a deep linking launch or not. Well, this time, we want to check whether we have the ability to use the assignments and grade service. So here, we say, does it have AGS? If it doesn't, then we'll throw an exception and say, hey, we don't have access to grades. But if it does, what we can do is we can get the assignments and grade service. So here, we're getting the assignments and grade service. And we can call various actions on here that we want to do. Um, so the way that we're going to do this is we're going to first create the score that we want to send back. Um, and that score is going to be the number of points that they got whilst they were playing the game. So you can see that we have our score here. And we're going to create a new LTI grade out of that score. And we're going to pass our score into it as our score given. We can give it a maximum. We give it a time of when uh, the score was sent. And we can say that, yep, the activity is complete. It's been graded. We're going to pass in some information as a comment. 
Um, and then we want to say who is doing it. So in this case, we're loading from the launch data. We're saying who the user is um, in LTI 1.3. Sub um, in the data, which stands for subject, is, is the user ID of the person who did the launch. So we set all of that into our grade. But now we need to tell the assignments and grade service where we're going to put it. And we, the thing that we want to put it in is called a line item. So a line item is just a column in a grade book. Um, but to do that, we need to create a line item. So we're going to create a line item object here. Um, and you can see that we've, again, got a new line item. We're going to say that it's got a score, that it's got a maximum number of points, that it's called score, and that this is what its ID is. And we can kind of just link all this information together. Um, and now we can tell the assignments and grade service that hey, I want you to go and put that grade onto that line item. And as it is most things with this uh, library, that's a simple one line command. So I can just say, hey, assignments and grade service, put the grade, here's my score, here's my line item. And in the background, the, uh, uh, the library will create the line item if it doesn't exist or find the line item if it does exist, and then add that grade on that score to it. But with the assignments and grade service, we're not limited to just one line item. We can create as many as we want. So what we're actually going to do here is we're going to say, well, we have some more information. We have how long the user's been playing for. So let's do the same thing for them. Uh, so we're going to create another grade, and we're going to call it time. And we're going to make another line item for the time taken. And then we're going to put the time onto the time taken line item as well. And then we just want to echo out a bit of success at the end to say, yep, we're all done. And just like that, we've got our score. So if we go and save that, and we save our front end so that it's sending the launch ID to it, we can go and have a look and see that in action. So we go back over to our platform here, and we'll select our game. And this time, I'm going to play through. And you know, I can shoot some of the asteroids. I can be pretty bad at the game and crash into a few of them. And if I crash into enough, you can see that there you go. The game ended. I got a score of 270. Well, did that? I don't know if that's a good score or a bad score. <laughs> it's a it's a pretty bad score. <laughs> That game looked hard. <laughs> I, th I think I just did a very bad job of playing it. <laughs> OK, so, so what we have there is we've just had our score sent back to our line item. So if we go into our gradebook, we can see that it's actually created two line items within our gradebook for playing that game. And it will have added the score and the time uh, to each of those line items respectively for the user that was just playing. So let's go back. And that is pretty much it for grading. We now have uh, implementation that is using the assignments and grade service, as well as uh, deep linking and the basic core of LTI 1.3. Yeah, that's that's really interesting, Martin. And I I definitely feel like uh, you know not all tools will have the grade return, but where they do, it's important that they get synced up with the grade book. That's definitely something people people really want. Yeah, indeed. And I really think that with the um, the ability to have multiple line items, it really expands what you can do with grading, because having access to only one score um, is quite limiting and people would you know expect that score to be a certain type of value you know that it would always be the instructor entering a score 
that is, you know, they have uh, completed this assignment and this is their mark for that assignment. Uh, whereas by having multiple line items, you can be a little bit more flexible with it. You can uh, say that, hey, in the case of Turnitin, we can return originality scores as well as authorship scores, as well as the instructor's grade. And we can have these different types of uh, score that are returned in different line items. And you can really have a much more uh, kind of rich communication between the tool and the platform over the outcomes of what the tool, tool is doing. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. OK, so what we've seen so far is that we've seen uh, going from a tool that has uh, no integration whatsoever, we've added the basic functionality in the core of LTI 1.3 so that we could launch into the tool. We've added deep linking so that we could configure the tool on the fly and add it to our course. And then you've just seen us add grades and the assignments and grades service, the ability to create line items and add scores to those line items. Um, and what we're going to do next is we're going to add the names and roles. So names and roles provisioning service is for getting all of the enrollments on the, uh, on the current class that you're looking at. And you can see which students are already on it, which students are enrolled, what their roles are. Um, and that will allow us to do even more, as you'll see coming up with the assignments and grades service. Uh, we can find out a little bit more information about who's already uh, had a submission, who's already played the game, what their score is, and we can pull some of that information into, well, we're going to pull it into a leaderboard.